Hello! In this video, we're going to practice how we can represent and use number bonds up to and including 10. We are going to be using a coat hanger like this and some clothes pegs to help us. If you would like to work along with us, then pause the video while you gather together some counting tools of your own. Ready? Then let's begin. How many pegs do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. We have five pegs. Pause the video while you count out five pegs of your own. Now, let's split these five pegs into two groups like this. We have one, two, three, four pegs on the left and one peg on the right, which we can write as a sum like this. Four add one equals five pegs altogether. And if we turn our coat hanger around, we have one peg on the left and one two, three, four pegs on the right. How could we write this as a sum? We could write one add four equals five pegs. Now let's split our five pegs into two different groups like this. This time we have one, two pegs on the left and one, two, three pegs on the right. How could we write this as a sum? We could write two add three equals five pegs. And again, if we turn our coat hanger around, we find now we have one, two, three pegs on the left and one, two pegs on the right. What sum could we write this time? We could write three add two equals five pegs. I wonder, are there any other addition sums we can write about our five pegs? What do you think? Well, we could slide all of our pegs to the same side of the coat hanger. Now we have one, two, three, four, five pegs on the left and zero pegs on the right. That's tricky. What sum could we write to show this? We could simply write five add zero equals five. And if we twizzle our coat hanger around again, we have zero pegs on the left and one, two, three, four, five pegs on the right. So our sum for this could be... Zero add five equals five. So working with five pegs, we discovered 
5 add 0 equals 5. 0 add 5 equals 5. 4 add 1 equals 5. 1 add 4 equals 5. 3 add 2 equals 5. And 2 add 3 equals 5. For the remainder of this video, you will have the opportunity to investigate the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 in the same way. Pause the video while you investigate each number, then play the video to compare your findings with ours. Let's start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pegs. Off you go. Working with six pegs, we discovered six add zero equals six, zero add six equals six, five add one equals six, one add five equals six, four add two equals six, two add four equals six, and three add three equals six. What sums can you make with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pegs? With 7 pegs, we discovered 7 at 0 equals 7, 0 at 7 equals 7. 6 add 1 equals 7, 1 add 6 equals 7, 5 add 2 equals 7, 2 add 5 equals 7, 4 add 3 equals 7, and 3 add 4 equals 7. Now try working with 8 pegs. Eight pegs gave us eight at zero equals eight, zero add eight equals eight, seven add one equals eight, one add seven equals eight, six add two equals eight, two add six equals eight, five add three equals eight, three add five equals eight, and four add four equals eight. What about nine pegs? With nine pegs, we had nine add zero equals nine, zero add nine equals nine, eight add one equals nine, 1 add 8 equals 9, 7 add 2 equals 9, 2 add 7 equals 9, 6 add 3 equals 9, 3 add 6 equals 9, 5 add 4 equals 9, and 4 add 5 equals 9. And finally, how many sums can you make with 10 pegs? Working with 10 pegs gave us 10 add 0 equals 10, 0 add 10 equals 10, 9 add 1 equals 10, 1 add 9 equals 10, 8 add 2 equals 10, 2 add 8 equals 10, 7 add 3 equals 10, 3 add 7 equals 10, 6 
6 add 4 equals 10, 4 add 6 equals 10, and 5 add 5 equals 10. Well, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed representing and using number bonds up to and including 10. And when you're ready, be sure to check out our next video where we'll be representing and using number bonds up to and including 20. But bye for now.